What's up everybody, Arg the Pirate here, and today I'm going to talk about the version 42.3 card changes. Now this is a long one, so let's get right into it. Awaken the Emric has been changed in a few ways. The cost has been increased from 4 vitality and 6 intellect to 4 vitality and 8 intellect. It increases the rate at which minions with drain life lose health by 3% of max health to 5% max health. Increased structure damage against toxic horde minions. They now kill in one attack. Increase the volume of the card's activation and the range at which it can be heard. And then it fixed an issue where sometimes minions would just run straight to the core. Guard Piercer has been changed. The armor penetration has been reduced from 12 to 16, so not a major change. Invader Mage, the ability pin has been changed from 12 to 10. Lord Valsic has had just a small little name change with the ability on it. No big deal. Nameless Curse has increased the damage from 50 to 60 per tick, but the time has been reduced from 18 to 16. So they will be taking more damage faster, basically. Numbing Rogue got a simple little aura fix that... You know, it was just a small little bug, no big deal. Shadow Dancer increased the cost from 3 Vitality in 6 Intellect to 4 Vitality in 7 Intellect. And it reduced the duration that you could stay in the plane from 15 seconds to 10 seconds, but increased the power from 14 to 18. In my mind, this just makes Shadow Dancer a better card, but, you know, that's just me. Swamp Stalker, the isolated damage has been reduced from 35 to 30 basic damage. In Vampiric Blade, the cost have been adjusted. It was a 9 agility, 4 vitality. Now it's a 7 agility, 6 vitality. So I think this is going to be the new golden standard for ADCs. I'm going to kind of skip over the bug fixes just because, you know, I want to save time. Cryo Agent has the internal cooldown reduced from 10 seconds to 4 seconds. Echelon Soldier has a fade time from 2 seconds to 1.5 seconds. Generator, the cost has been reduced from 1500 gold to 1200 gold. And the Mana Regen is reduced from 175. Rejuvenator now has 2 charges but cost 300 gold instead of 200. Sleeper Agent has a fix where you could target people with in the shadow plane. Supply Sergeant has a small little fix. Wetware Virus is increased flat damage reduction from 30 to 50, but increased attack sp speed slow from 30 to 50. So it got a fairly decent buff, I would say. Next, let's talk about order. Brilliant Fortification Duration is now 7 seconds instead of 6, and a reduced cost from 1,000 gold and 4 intellect to 1,000 gold and 3 intellect. Gates of Salvation is increased heal from 225 to 275, a reduced base cooldown from 45 seconds to 35 seconds, and it increased in elevated frequency from 2% to 4%. So, you know, if you are using that elevate, it it's a better card than it used to be. Godmother Vigilant reduced base max health from 15% to 10%. Reduced max health from 565 to 240. And now grants 190 max mana. So I would say Godmother got hit pretty hard. And I don't think we will see one card tanks anymore. Knights of Asher base... Da basic damage increased from 25 to 30 and increased the elevated effect from 1.5 to 2.5. So Knights of Asher might be a great card. It did offer the highest damage if you did watch that comparison video I made. Malak's Grace has increased the percent max shield granted from 15 to 25 percent and reduced the mana cost from 100 to 75. Moloch's Prayer had a small little bug fix. Moloch's Tribute reduced maximum shield value from 20 max health to 15 max health. No longer grants attack speed and now grants 190 max health. Radiant Healer uh, had a tooltip update. Yami Guardian reduced cost from 
3 dexterity and 9 vitality to 3 dexterity and 7 vitality, which I'm guessing dexterity they meant by agility. Increase the block damage from 50 to 70, reduce the basic armor from 36 to 24, and reduce the max health from 300 to 240. And then fix the small little issue. Uh, you know, it, it's a cheaper car that offers just a little bit less. I would still say this is an amazing card, and you know, it, it's even more viable now. Yami Scepter now displays the pink revealed eye above player's head without the debuff. No longer affects enemy minions, will only apply to heroes. Next, let's talk about growth. Battle Shepherd increased the minion health region aura from 10 to 55. Rename the ability minion leader aura to split pusher. Exoskeleton reduced the flat damage uh, reduction from 8 to 6. Flame Increase cost to 3,000 gold from 2,000. Reduce the base damage from 500 to 400. Reduce the base or reduce damage per activation from 150 to 100. Increase the cooldown from 45 seconds to 60 seconds and increase the mana cost from 25 to 50. You know, in my mind, they pretty much made this card almost useless with the amount that it cost and just the the amount that the damage is going to be slowed that you're getting out of it you're really only going to use this to secure raptors there's no longer going to be stealing prime with this just because there are better cards out there growth totem increase the power gain per minute from 0.8 to 1 increase the max health gain per minute from 15 to 20 pack leader affects minions now with 150 increased movement speed when chasing a marked target Reduce the duration from 30 seconds to 15 seconds and increase cast range from 80 to 12 or from 800 to 1200. Sprite can reduce the cost from 2 vitality and 5 intellect to 2 vitality and 4 intellect. Reduce the cooldown from 120 seconds to 65 seconds and reduce the percentage gained on activation from 60% missing health and mana to 50% missing health and mana. And then Vengeful Mare no longer removes you from the Shadow Plane on activation, and it had a small little other fix. Lastly, we have Chaos. Deathcrawler's attack speed has, the reduction from it, has been reduced from 60 to 50% slow, or attack speed slow. Reduced the critical damage from 300 to 250, and now has visual effect when activating you know i'm i've done the test on this card and i it just really wasn't worth it it might be worth it on you know someone like revenant or something along those lines but i just did not feel this card was worth it so i am looking forward to being able to test this out and see if it's better now Nuke Blood Mutant increased the movement speed per stack from 15 to 20. Increase the attack speed per stack from 4 to 5. Tireless Reaper no longer removes you from the Shadow Plane when activating. Thorn Yami cooldown is now properly displayed. Unstoppable Cyborg no longer removes you from the Shadow Plane and it had a fixed, it's got another fixed issue. Now they did do a change with the multi-shot gem. It is now reduced from 80% for those side projectiles to 60% for the side projectiles. And, you know, that's, that's huge. I'm glad that's being changed. Well, that's going to wrap it up for the cards and gem changes. I hope you all learned something and I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, show me some love. Leave me a comment think about subscribing. As always, I'll see y'all in the next video.